Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall a serpentine belt on this 2006 uh, Chevy Impala. It has a 3.5 liter V6. It's pretty straightforward. You'll need 10, 13, and 15 millimeter sockets with a ratchet. And you'll also need a 3.8 drive, uh, either a breaker bar or um, a ratchet handle uh, with a pipe for some extra leverage. To start, there are two 10 millimeter nuts uh, that hold the uh, coolant overflow tank, and we'll remove those. And with those removed, just pull the coolant tank up and out and just put it uh, to the back out of the way. If you want to remove the belt fully, you'll need to remove this bracket here, which is a 13 millimeter, and we'll just fast forward as we take that out. And you just have to unbolt that bracket um, and let it hang free. Tensioner is located right here, and it actually has a square hole in the middle of it. And right here we're demonstrating on the new tensioner, you put a, a 3 8 drive uh, bar or ratchet in to move the tensioner. And now you can see uh, Don's putting that um, 3 8 inch breaker bar right down in and getting it into the hole in the tensioner. And then he'll um, push clockwise on the tensioner and then reach back and flip the belt off the alternator. Um, slowly remove the tension from the tensioner, remove your wrench, and then uh, the belt is just a little bit, uh, it's just wrapped around all the pulleys, so you have to just kind of give it some slack and pull it up and off of the pulleys. Now this is very important, this is a diagram um, for your belt and what you'll want to do is you'll want to feed it down around the crank and the AC pulleys first and then you're going to try and pull it in towards the middle on the left side uh, and then up and around. And there's really no great way to video this um, so I'm just going to watch Don as he puts it down in. So he'll feed the belt way down um, and through that clip uh, that you unbolted. He'll feed it way down and he'll get it like I said on the lower pulleys first. You can see he gets it on that side pulley with his right hand and then he feeds it way down in to the crank pulley down below. And now uh, once he's got it down in he's now pulling it in towards the middle. Uh, so he's got a loop down around the lower um, the lower pulleys and he's pulling a loop into the middle to get it on the water pump. Okay and now he's got it up around so at this point we'll go back to the diagram. He's got the uh, he's got the belt on the lower two pulleys and that middle one and also on the right side and now he's going to feed it and I'm going to fast forward here uh, as Don keeps working with that belt. Basically what he's doing is he's getting it um, properly aligned onto all the pulleys except for uh, the alternator which is um, the top left. As you're looking at the engine from the passenger side it's the top left accessory. Uh, so he gets the belt onto all uh, the pulleys except for the alternator. And now he's just taking a lot of care, make sure all the belt's on properly, and pulls that uh, tensioner counterclockwise. He's got the wrench in there, pulls it clockwise, and gets the belt up onto the alternator. And then he'll do a check um, of all the pulleys, make sure that the belt's on correctly. And now you can put that 13 millimeter bolt back into the bracket.
now reinstall um, your radiator bottle there's a groove um, and a pin down at the bottom just make sure that goes on and the two uh, top tabs go over the studs and tighten up those 10 millimeter nuts We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.